What's up guys, I'm Jeff, the founder of Worldwide Cyclery, and today I wanted to tantalize you by showing you a bike build we recently did in Evil the Offering, and the bike belongs to our head mechanic, Liam Woods. You've seen him in a lot of our videos. He writes all of our articles. He's got a super fancy leg tattoo. So if any of you guys read our blog articles, uh, Liam's most likely the one who wrote it. He's a super crazy bike nerd and, nerd alert. and is a very good writer. So he writes a lot of the stuff and him and I are kind of the key people that test a lot of the product that we talk about on the YouTube channel and in the blog articles. Uh, so whenever either of us build up a bike or we're testing stuff, we kind of like to put unique different stuff on it that we currently want to test and want to review and want to talk about uh, in our blog and on the YouTube channel. So, the bike Liam just built up has got a bunch of stuff in uh, sort of that category of unique parts that we're sort of trying to play with right now and test and uh, make content on to tell you guys about, but we usually like to get a pretty good extensive amount of time on them before we make content on them. Um, but anyways, without further ado, here's Liam to talk about uh, some of the stuff that he's got on his new bike. So give us a rundown, Liam. All right. so. Like Jeff said, we have the e the offering frame. Um, it is running the Push 11.6 shock. Uh, the shock's pretty cool. It is tuned for the bike and for my weight. Um, up front, we do have a RockShox Pike. This also has a Push ACS3 conversion coil kit in there. What do you give information-wise to Push for the rear shock? Uh, rear shock, you give frame, rider weight, and riding style. Riding style kind of vague, um, you know, everyone's super aggressive and cool. But really, they tune the shocks to the average rider to really get the most out of it. Got it, cool. And they only offer them for like certain frames? Yeah, they test every, uh, every bike, every frame. So they bring them in, they do all their own testing. Um, they test whether it's good or bad. There are some bikes that are like, this bike does not run in the shock. I think there's like a, 16 enduro they don't make a shock for for yeah. that reason yep cool yeah push is a brand that uh, we've been pretty pumped on recently because they're making incredible innovative suspension stuff so we're lucky enough to be testing a lot of it right now so we can make content on it because a lot of people have been requesting it so awesome you're riding it and i'll be riding some of it too uh what else you got on here interesting um next interesting part i'd say is the box to drivetrain uh box is a newer drivetrain company uh really coming in swinging with some great products. Yeah, uh, Box 2 drivetrain, Toby Henderson, that dude's a complete badass. Uh, he's he's the, the man, the myth, the legend behind Box, and the fact that they're even trying to compete with the giant 800-pound gorillas being SRAM and Shimano in the drivetrain world is seriously impressive, and uh, man, you've already got some time on it. What do you think it's so far? It functions great. There's no, when you're riding down the trail, I can't tell whether it's SRAM, Shimano, Box. It has all the great function about it. Um, no issues, it has an 1150 range, so same as NX Eagle. It is 11 speed, but I don't miss that 12th gear. Yeah. Um, price range. point wise, it's like close to in between NX and GX? Price point wise, it's right below GX, I believe. Um, one cool thing about Box, which other drivetrain companies don't offer, is they have a lifetime warranty on everything. So you do manage to uh, have an issue with the rear derailleur, they will warranty that and get you a new one. So. That's a big up compared to other companies. Yeah, solid. So box two drivetrain, push suspension, uh, i9 wheels. i9 Enduro 305 wheels, uh, 30.5 internal on these wheels. Do have a little custom color action. Um, blue spokes, black hub on this one. Blue splo spokes, blue hub on the rear. So a little mix match going on. Uh, these are my favorite wheels your favorite wheels yeah we just recently made a video on industry 9 enduro 305 wheels because they're pretty phenomenal and the sound of the rear hub is tantalizing <laughs> uh so what else tire wise that's a little different i've never run those tires uh yeah the new wtb judge tire it is technically marketed as a rear tire um, but the tread pattern is very similar to dhr2 from maxis and that's my favorite tire that maxis offers so I figured I'd give these guys a try. Um, they're very similar and I'm really digging them so far. Yeah, what does this thing weigh? The bike? Yeah, do you know? Yeah, 
She's up there. <laughs> She's a big girl. Wait, we'll reveal here. Scott, handle that. <laughs> yeah, uh, not, quite, that, not the lightest, but. No, not the lightest. Coil, coil, downhill brakes. It's not gonna be the lightest, but yeah. it's really fun. SRAM code RCs? So, uh, yeah, SRAM code RC brakes. Um, I've been running these bike to bike to bike for a couple of bikes now. I really dig them. They have easily enough stopping power for my weight. 180 rotor front and rear. I don't need a 200 rotor, I'm a little guy. Um, but yeah, they have great modulation. I really like the code brakes. Other than that, we got Descendant Crank, Reverb 170 Post, um, and the Physique Seat. That's my all-time go-to saddle. I think that exact saddles I've had for two years. I've had like seven of those seats. They're really, really good. They fit me. Barn Stem, Race Face Affect 40 mil stem, and I actually have a Yeti carbon handlebar. I really like the sweep of the Yeti bar, so I just took the Yeti logo off and I just moved that bike to bike as well. Um, I'm kind of real particular about my cockpit, so that I try not to change. ODI Elite Pro grips, I think is what they're called, Elite Pro. Um, and this handlebar is pretty much what I run on all of my bikes. So it's comfortable, I can opt bike to bike or change frames and it's all kind of normal feeling up front. Yeah, that's huge. Yeah, so I think that's um, really key for changing stuff out. And then um, Crank Brothers uh, Mallet Ease Enduro pedals, those are new to me. So we're testing those out as well. Je yeah, Jeff loves them. Um, I'm normally a other brand guy, but uh, the fishing reel company. Do they make fishing reels? I knew they're in some some other business. Um, yeah, Crank Brothers been digging them so far. So yeah, it's a big change switching to those after Shimano. It definitely it's is different feel. Yeah, I guess to kind of finish it off, you got some leopard print going on. Yeah, this leopard print, uh, all mountain style frame guard. Kind of wanted to spice up the frame a little bit. Not a huge fan of the blue, but it's flashy, so I made it more flashy with this stuff. Um, it's good protection. It's, if you guys haven't felt this stuff, it's like pretty thick. It, it's ribbed for your pleasure. That's what she said. And pretty thick. Someone say. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, it's really good protection though. It's almost like a dirt bike graphic if you're familiar with dirt bike graphics. Yeah. Real thick Yeah, like sticker. a thicker vinyl. Yeah. yeah, all mountain style is like, I feel like they're just getting more and more popular these days. Everyone's running that on their bikes because Man, when you invest a lot of money in a carbon bike, it's pretty nice to have some good solid protection on there. All over Instagram. Yeah, yeah, they kill it on Instagram. Yep, absolutely. Sweet, well man, that kind of finishes it off, huh? Yeah, it's uh, been really good so far. It's my first Evil I've ever owned, so. I've ridden some, but I've never spent like a full six months on the frame before. Yep. So. Well, I guess the last thing we're gonna talk about, specialized SWAT cage. Yeah. <laughs> Can't get away from it, it works good. It's a good it's a, invention. It's a good cage. I got my multi-tool right there. Um, yeah, they have great accessories. I really really like their accessories and their SWAT line. I agree, that is a good invention for sure. They killed it with that, definitely. Well, that's about it for uh, the Evil Day offering. Liam's build, let us know what you guys think in the comments. Share this with anyone you think that would love this bike. Hit that subscribe button and we'll see you guys in the next one.